Psalm 81, got a very interesting window here into what could have been for Israel whilst they were in the wilderness. God says, oh, that my people would have listened to me, that Israel would have walked in my ways. I would have quickly subdued their enemies and I would have fed them with the finest of the wheat and I would have satisfied you with honey out of the rock. When Israel walked through the wilderness, God gave them water out of the rock and he gave them manna to eat, which they found boring. But he's saying, look, I would, I would have given you honey. That was in my plan out of the rock, not just water. And I would have given you not just manna, but very fine wheat. So you see here that God sets up potential blessings that actually don't materialize for people because they don't want to go his way. Now, there's a lot of that in the Bible where God sets up a potential way for people, but it doesn't work out because they don't want it. Now, this now becomes very personal. For each of us, there are various possible futures that God has structured and set up for us. The extent of his interest in us is amazing. You feel with David, what is man? That you're mindful of him, or the son of man, that you pay attention to him. But this is how it is. The closer you walk with God, and the more you say yes to God, and stop resisting and wanting to go your own way, etc., the more you will see this, that his plan for you works out. And God wants to do us only good in our latter end. Those potentials that he's set up for us may not be potential material blessings, not at all, but all the same, blessings, because he loves us. He takes pleasure in his people, we are told. As a loving father, he wants to do us good. He wants to give. This is what it is to be a father to want to give. And God is like that with us. And it's such a tragedy that so much potential that's set up for so many millions, billions of people is wasted. Don't let that be the case between God and yourself.